Hi, I'm John Kennedy from Kennedy CycleFit and what we're going to talk about now is how we achieve a good position on a bicycle. If the person's already got an existing bike, we will get that bike, we'll put in the frame in the rack here and what we'll do is once we've measured the person physically and anatomically and worked out who and what they are, we mount them on the bike and under pressure we will work out the right seat height in conjunction with the right seat setback for the dis discipline they're doing. We'll work out the stem height, stem length, angle of the handlebar, angle of where the brake lever should be, and then critically, with the seat height seat setback, it is very critical then to work out the shoe position, where we work out how much foot's on the pedal, laterally where your two feet go, and then canting, we work out canting on the feet. We have special wedges where we actually wedge your feet because feet aren't flat. More than 80% of the population pronate, so it's very critical as we work out the angle of each foot on the pedal. And on top of that, we have spaces where it might be someone may, might need compensators, where I have special spaces, all different thicknesses, where we will work out, it could be that one foot is a bit thicker on the pedal than the other because of a short leg or different sit bone. Once you have the right position, you should be able to achieve good balance in a bike. Most people can't ride their bikes no hands. If I say to people, can you ride in hands, they go, no, I can't. It's because they're not balanced on a bike. Balance is number one in sport, in your hips. The balance on a bicycle comes back to the seat angle. And to achieve that balance, when you sit back in the right position, you can actually breathe properly, use your hamstrings and glutes properly. Uh, most people ride bikes in such a way they're only using their quadriceps, that causes a pelvic tilt which starts causing ITB problems, a la a lot of triathletes race on Sunday, and on Monday they're the physiotherapists. The position in relation with the crankshaft is the number one priority when you set up a bicycle rider, and then from there we work out where the bar and stem height, and if they've got aero bars, we work out where the aero bars are, so they've got a good position where they can actually see and breathe under pressure on a bike in any discipline.